Uh, I'm Jeff, this is Pam. Uh, we've been married for 36 years. Uh, we met in a pizza place. We both worked there together when we were little. No, when we were younger. <laughs> uh, he made pizza, I was the cashier. Typical, what I would call, high school sweethearts. We, uh, we like the simple things, uh, but uh, music plays a huge role in what we do, you know, certainly with the church and personally. My favorite part is when I'm worshiping at church, I can hear other people singing in, in the main auditorium, and that just is, is so awesome to me to hear that. It just blesses me. Uh, I like to play guitar to relax. It becomes more difficult to do that, just given time constraints, to be able to share whatever talent we may have with the rest of the team and the rest of the church, uh, and to be able to do that that in terms of serving is a true blessing. I didn't grow up in a Christian home, literally met a friend, and uh, she brought me to her church, and that's where I really heard about Jesus and being my personal savior. I was 13 years old when I gave my life to Christ. I felt peace. I felt like I was part of a family. Uh, I was raised in a, in a, a church-going family. It was in, really in my early 20s uh, when I came to the realization that a re relationship with Christ was necessary. When we first got married, I wasn't making very much money. Uh, and we were just about to have our second kid, and we were choice. Uh, do, does Pam continue to work, or does she not? And if we're going to do this tithe thing, she has to work, right? No, but God, you know, told me otherwise. He's like, you know, trust me, uh, trust me in this. Uh, and as soon as we started moving down that path, He really has blessed us. I remember when we first were taught about giving and and being sacrificial in our giving. We, the first question most people ask: Do we tithe on net or do we tithe on gross? And then the extra giving that, that uh, we were being asked to give just really felt strongly sacrificial, like, whoa, you know, that's, that's taken into our personal stuff. And I know to pray for God's wisdom before doing something like that, because He'll guide you with that. Uh, sacrificial giving has been, uh, it's been an interesting journey for us. Uh, before I was uh, really came to know Jesus and, and, put, and gave my life over to Him, I was pretty tight-fisted. You know, you had to pry my fingers off. It'd be one of those, you know, kind of alligator arm things. But uh, you know, I think once I realized that uh, that God loved me so much that He sacrificed everything for me, it became easier. I trust in God a lot, and I know that He's faithful, and I can have peace with even our finances because I know He's in charge, and He'll give us wisdom to know what to do. Uh, you know, I, as far as being sacrificial for me, it's uh, it's searching my heart, uh, thinking about where my I want my treasures to be. Right? And something as simple as looking at my checkbook and saying, okay, where's the money going? And evaluating that is sobering. And I think uh, as we've gone through this transformational journey, we really are excited that God is laying on our hearts an amount that we can set aside for bigger, smaller, deeper, really over and above our regular giving to help take our church illuminate into the future and reach more people for Jesus.